welcome back to episode 59 yeah, of the Goofcast. That was a start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Travis. I'm Nick. <laughs> and this is Where Raymond. Are you Raymond. Today, man? And Nick is um in another galaxy. My hands hurt. We start the podcast going, Jeff Kaplan, PCC. Yeah, what's PCC? It's college. It's old City college. college. Oh. Yeah. It's like another That's college. very interesting. Yeah. I, I didn't college. know that they were um I don't know that he would like care. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like a cool guy. I mean, yeah, but it's like I didn't I know what you mean though. Yeah, yeah like it's there, kind of a though? I don't yeah, well, exactly. I mean you get a lot of students coming in for transfer and I mean it's a good place to be like, Oh yeah. maybe you should do this for a career. I mean PCC is like one of the bigger community colleges yeah. around here. So yeah, it's like you think if anything you go to like Norco, because that's like one of the if best anything, game think, Oh yeah, I forgot about if that. If anything you think you go to Irvine because he like he actually went there. Yeah. And then well, that's Blizzard's in to, Irvine. That's closest too. to Blizzard too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Does Irvine have a community college? Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Huh. It's like there's Santi is it Santiago? Community college, like right in Irvine, something like next that. to it. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. right. You're right. So you probably went there. He well, probably boys, went down there. It's been a whole week. It's been a whole week. Yeah, it's been a long week. week. I've you, washed these pants once. You can tell because we're in different clothes. <laughs> yeah. Very different clothes. That's what makes it different. It's start of December. I'm all yeah, all Christmas sweatered up. Yeah, me too. I'm yeah, dude, I love it. It really brings out the. Uh, holiday spirit color in your eyes so <laughs> how, how how has december been to you guys uh how long are we gonna keep up the bit yeah i'm not gonna keep it up anymore <laughs> yeah wait wait ready for the reveal think of my shirt last week <gasps> it's the same <laughs> he's, one he's still wearing it it's the same oh, shirt mine. mine it's not <laughs> he showered yeah, he i wouldn't shower i got a shower after this yeah i uh felt a little stinky so we had to record a double because it was the holidays. Yeah, and um, it was Thanksgiving. There's no way we're going to record next week. And Goof Paste Ooh. is a union contracted company, yeah. and we get holidays and weekends And off. free craft service on every shoot. <laughs> this wasn't free. <laughs> sure How much was, was that? Three fifty. dollars Valencia Orange. Way too what? expensive. Valencia Orange? Yeah. Valencia Orange. Oh, okay. Orange. I was waiting for Nick to go like this and push it oh, up. Oh, you'd be so go. mad. I would be so Why mad. Why would I do that to you? To you, because I know I'll have to clean it up. Okay. Yeah, you does, absolutely. Does would. Nick look like he's like dressed like Austin right now? The Austin bit. getup with yeah. the white shirt, it's the white shirt, the jacket, and, and sweatpants. the sweatpants. Yeah, this is yeah. the Austin. I, I looked care. at you. I'm like, am I sitting next to Austin right now? <laughs> Man, yeah. fucking both you guys have like nice like jogger sweatpants. This is a nice dude. Do you feel how fucking linty it is. Yeah, but they're what shaped. The fuck but they're not like anything. tubes on your legs. I think he's talking about like fitted. You know what my best like comfy pants are? Some fucking yeah. shaggy ass old Star Wars pajamas. You know where you like, gotta get yourself? Huh. Go to Ross. Get some some wow. of those for like six ninety nine. You know what I didn't get myself? What money? Yeah, <laughs> dude, Raymond's been on Ross lately. Yeah, because I can it's buy like Ross, so dude. many shirts for cheap. I don't blame him. I mean, it's basically like thrift shopping Sniper. without the. It's thrift Fortune. shopping, but new products. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's good. Wait, deals. is is Ross like one of those uh, that they take like the, like the overflow from like other yeah. stores and sell it? I'm pretty again? sure too. Like you know, like brands have like seasons of clothing. So yeah. Like, when the next season, they just send them to Ross if they didn't sell. I guess. Okay, yeah. so they're are they like yeah. Marshalls a discount too? store? What's Marshalls? Yeah, it's like yeah. Marshalls. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, yeah. that stuff. Oh yeah. Sure. TJ Maxx has stores. some good stuff too. Sometimes. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Recently, no. Coles. Isn't Kohl's? Kohl's? No, I, I they sell their own stuff. Do they? I, I don't huh. think I've ever seen a Kohl's. Oh. East Vale. East, really? I thought it was in yeah. Riverside. There's an East Vale one. There's a Riverside one, too. Huh. huh. I don't go to those. Yeah, I don't either. Either. That's why. That's, yeah. that's where I, I got went my... to Kohl's to get that Mountain Dew shirt in ninth grade. <laughs> Dude, those stores are nice because it's like. <laughs> I got mine at Target. Oh, really? Yeah. The stores are nice, though. What stores? Yeah. They're like the discount ones. Yeah, because you get everything so cheap, and it's yeah. still the same clothes you get anywhere else. And no one's worn them yet. <laughs> I remember when that big thing last year was when it was what? like the fuck, man. I'm drinking beer for the first time in like a month, and I'm like getting the burps. I apologize in advance, but uh, Why there was like that big thing it? with the Xbox One X where at yeah. Marshalls they were like a hundred bucks off. Yeah, what? I saw yeah. that. Same with PS4 yeah. is on them. Um, PS4 is with Coles, I think, mm-hmm. but they're marked at like. Hundred dollars, one fifty. Yeah, Damn. yeah, and that was like two years ago. It was so like all over. It was like be on the lookout. You know, Best Buy selling PS4s right now with uh, 
Let's see. There's Fortnite. something like God of War. God of War. God of War. <laughs> God of War yeah. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and like one other game. Damn. 200 bucks. Wow. Plus the console. Wait. That's aren't you ready yeah. for the Black Friday deals that yeah. already happen? Yeah. <laughs> Man, we should have talked about that last podcast. I know. Apparently some stores are starting on like this now. up. Well, for you guys, it's like way fucking past. Aren't but you, for us, it's like the upcoming Sunday. Aren't you ready for those price drops on the consoles for the day that end up being the price drop anyway after Christmas or <laughs> yes. before Christmas? Yeah. And they're going to be that way anyway. Remember when the we PS4 went to Best Buy out? for um, Black Friday? Like what, last year? Yeah. yeah. It was complete pointless. Yeah. It really was not was. like I don't get. There's really no good deals, really. No. Other than for like the there off brand, that, it's the off brand 4K TVs that don't look that good, and that's about well, it. Well, there was the one Samsung yeah. one last year. Yeah. And then like, remember they wheeled them out like right when we got there, and we were like, "Yeah, too bad we don't need a TV because." This... And then the, the, we were gonna get a few things, but the line was like, "Yeah, it was insane." Like, we we're just like, "Oh never my mind. god!" Because like, the stuff Black I was Friday gonna get one thing, but my goodness, because yeah. the stuff I was gonna get was like normal price, just about. So I was yeah. like, "I'll put it back." Yeah. Cyber Monday is already. Already yeah, because you can just do it online. Yeah, you can do it online and just get it delivered to you. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, to beat that. <laughs> since we're recording this uh, way in advance and I'm about to move, can you get fridges on Amazon? Yeah. I would imagine you can, yeah. Do you Absolutely. think, do they deliver it to the door? Yeah. Mm-hmm. With Prime and everything? Yeah. That's insane. Well, I don't know if it'll be Prime, but yeah, you That's probably insane, can. That's insane, dude. Yeah, and then they'll probably have the thing of like... Pay an extra three hundred dollars for an expert installation. <laughs> yeah, right. That'll you be a thousand dollar you mean, expert. You mean fucking wheel it to the wall and plug it in? Yeah, pretty much. I need an expert. Or if what it has, you a, if it has a water dispenser, you gotta mess with that too. I do. Yeah. Yeah. So you just have to like plug it into the water spout on the wall. Yeah. Well, if you're set up, yeah. You yeah, just twist on the water line. That's about it. You know, like you got to run it through a few times to make sure there's no oh, yeah factory stuff, all but, that. That's it. It's just nice when someone comes in and does all that shit and yeah. you're just like, ah, fridge. Yeah. But I still yeah. think my favorite's the expert installation on PC parts. <laughs> it's so what is what do they charge? Sometimes it's ridiculous. I just like, know it's always like a few hundred dollars or something. Yeah. I remember the what was what did I get? I forget what I was looking. I think it was the the cooler that I wanted to get for it. It was like yeah. fifty five bucks for expert installation. I was like, why? Mm. Like, yeah, right Wait, now. Also, I want to look right also, now. Also, who is it? Is it like the Amazon driver know. knocks on your door? Let me plug it in real quick. Let's go on door for Geek Squad. Let me in. Uh-huh. Wait, I want to see right now. <laughs> what if I bought an SSD? <laughs> you plug it into your motherboard, and that's it. Let's that see. there's an SSD. <laughs> no, you missed it though, Nick. The best like uh, appliances sales are like on Labor Day. Is it Labor Day? Really? Labor Day and Memorial Day. Oh, yeah, Labor Day is the best days. one though. Well, I don't know. Like for some reason, like those are like the best. Like our fridge in here, we got a f- like years ago on Labor Day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Interesting. But the I'll have to buy it pretty damn order. soon anyway. Yeah. Because no. the, the new house doesn't have. Look a at uh, look at J C Penny. J C Penny. Yeah. Oh. Or Sears. If there's Sears. I think the only. I think I mentioned like two weeks ago that the Sears near me like yeah died. Oh, did it? Yeah. Well, then, like, JCPenney. Kmart. Or Best Buy. Kmart. Oh, here it is. A shop around a bit. Don't just go straight to Okay, I found it. Yeah. Jason Galloway. So, 100 bucks to install a CPU on your For him to go like board. that, and then that. Yeah. That's hey, so that insane. shit's scary to it someone scary. like me who doesn't know how to do it's, that. It is. You just watched one YouTube video, and you do it once. Hey, the like, shit's right. scary. It is right. kind of scary, It, it is scary the first time, but then you do it, it and then sh- you see your temps, and you're like, your okay, not CPU's like not fucking hundreds of dollars, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're not going to blow it up. I mean, if you, the, did, if you put the thermal paste on wrong, you just got to put it on again. It's not going to do Yeah, I think, no, the scary thing for me, the scary thing for me is like when you put the, you know, like when you put on the pins yeah, and you close the clamp. That's the scary part because it always For makes the, that like hissing noise. The Intel one's scary because it's really hard. The That's MD one said. only falls into place and it's very light to lock it in. Oh, okay. The Intel one's scary. So the, I agree yeah, on that one. The Intel one, you have to like, mm, yeah, and it makes like a really scary, cracky man. noise. Yeah, they, they all look scary. Yeah, not fun. I just enjoy the, because usually when I buy PC parts, I have the Raymond or Stuart so excited that they help me do it. <laughs> yeah, anyways. honestly. So no, it turns into we'll show you, and then we just do it. <laughs> Did you see yeah. Maddie's tweet? No. Yeah, I saw it. What'd she say? She was like, me, like her. She was like, me, I want to build a PC guy. Oh, you want to build a PC? I got all her parcelates for you. Let me build it for you. Oh, you want to come? I'll come over and build it for you if you want. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's Raymond with me. Yeah. I'll say this. That's me for anybody who asks. That's true. Yeah. I was like, I just like doing it. That's why. Because people who do it like doing it. So they just want to do it a lot. Yeah. Anytime someone brings it up who like doesn't really know. I'm like, oh, Raymond, Raymond. (laughs) See, Stuart's the technical support. Yeah. I just like putting them together. (laughs) He's like, there. Yeah. I don't know if it works. And then when it comes to like technical things, like actually having the computer on. Stewart's problem. Yeah, <laughs> Stewart's problem. I'm bad at navigating through all the stuff. Yeah, he's, you don't know menu still. He's uh, he's on it, man. He's on another one. Yeah, it's really nice to have him around. He was like tweaking your fan settings and shit, and looking at this weird graph that I thought was like a gimmick. <laughs> Why would you keep gimmick? It's a fan I curve. I don't know. Like, like, have you seen my like mouse uh configuration software? No, I kind of want to know. It's like, well, you have like weird like Cyberhead Wolfman. It's gamer actually mouse. Red Dragon. That made it so much. That's almost <laughs> credible. <laughs> like the fucking Windows of Trapezoid. I want to see now. It's so well, good. well you have like though, thirty like the, buttons on your mouse. Like the MSI, MSI Afterburner. Yeah, with the dragon like on it. It's like yeah, yeah, it looks like what you'd find on like the back of yeah. a like keyboard. But box. it's very useful. Mm-hmm. But gamer. it looks very. Yeah. It looks so like gamer mode. Yeah, and then you look at the back of the box. It's like. There's a graph going this way. It's like speed no, and a graph my going favorite, this way. Performance. My favorite is the EVGA, and they'll have like a speedometer that says like boost fast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's with that. What's Nitro with, fan or like, speed. No, because remember the motherboard I have? When I turn on my PC, it's just like a carbon a fiber car, car like <laughs> yeah. sports car. It's like a generic I don't understand. car. Yeah, I'm like, I'll yeah, just yeah, do yeah. with a nice like minimalistic modern looking logo. I'll take it. No sports car. You gotta go fast. Or like when I got the when I got my um, older monitor, the one I had before this one. There's like jet fighters on it, oh, like flying that. out of the monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking remember that one time when I was uh, looking for my motherboard? Yeah, the one I wanted was like super nice, but it said Republic of Gamers on it, and I was like, I can't. I you don't can't want the do Asus it, ROG? I can't. I can't have that. Just showing out of my computer every Travis, time I look at it. You are a gamer. I'm not a gamer. Yes, Stop you are. calling me that. It's like you got RuneScape on the left, Call of Duty on the yeah, right. You're more That's gamer true. than the both of us combined. That's true. And I also do. your girlfriend game going at the same time. <laughs> so you got three. Max performance, dude. Max. Waste no XP. <laughs> do you have do you have your EVGA speedometer on max? <laughs> <laughs> Always, man. You trimmed it to maximum efficiency. <laughs> Now, I really wish cameras were like advertised like that. Our <laughs> shutter speeds are off the chart. And then there's like a jet flying by, and in the stream, there's like the numbers that yeah. it can go to. <laughs> Dude, Maddie and I like we agreed that like if if something's packaging is shitty and ugly, it must be professional. Honestly, yeah, yeah, because they put money into the packaging. Doesn't mean it's good, but they put money into it. No, because like I'll show you this. I want to see. Smooth on. Smooth McGrew. So it's probably old news now. Uh-huh. And I forgot yeah. to bring it up on the last podcast. But so the World Series. It was the Astros versus Oh, the that's Nationals. very old news now. It's very it? old news now, yeah. But um leading up to the World Series, the Astros had to play against the Yankees to get there. And there's a lot of controversy over those games because um and by now it might have been solved, but Pretty much the Astros were caught sign stealing, which sign is stealing. basically like, like the thingies, the catchers are doing this. Yeah. So what would happen? And you can like hear it if you watch footage of the game, uh, like the catcher will call like fastball and there's like nothing. Right. Yeah. And then the second that the, the catcher calls a change up right before the throw, you hear a loud doo, doo, like a bat was being like slammed in the dugout. Really? And so it would let the batter know that there would be a changeup. And so after like three mm. batters went by, like the pitcher like went up to the catcher and was like, hey, like I think they know the signs. Like we really? gotta change it up. But the thing about it is like they were they were notifying them so fast that there was no way that it was like this like any any base runner or anything. Yeah. So they're being accused of having like someone watching the broadcast and being like, hey, this is happening or like something like a scout yeah. or something like that. And it's like, it's pretty clear as day. Like when you like, watch the videos, you, you just hear it very loud. Just, yeah, dude, it's a very loud do do. It's like, okay. <laughs> Imagine that sounds pretty like, yeah. And then pretty, pretty flat. Apparently like they're, Wait, are you saying like someone's watching the, 
Someone's target. watching the catcher. The catcher going like whatever. Like doing using the signs yeah. and then like notifying the people in the dugout to mm-hmm. do the bang so that way the batter knows that yeah. the changeup's coming. Yeah, yeah, okay. And like that has to happen so fast. It's like the second the pitcher's like, yep, I'll do that pitch. He's already like going. Yeah. So like that's like a very fast thing. So all of a sudden like all these things come and then like I watched it and I was like, yeah, dude, like that's definitely sign stealing. And they've been accused of it before, yeah. but I guess they got away with it. What but this time it? the Astros, the yeah. Astros. Oh, Astros. And they and lost anyway. There's it Astros was... and Nationals. No. Well, yeah, it was the Astros versus the Nationals. Yeah. But the Astros are from Houston. Oh, Garbage. yeah. They lost. What the do you Nationals call it? Beat them. Imagine being a professional Definitely. team and you're still cheating. Yeah. I, know. I mean, if and they denying are, it too. if they are, it's like at that point, like when you get caught, and like the video evidence is like right there, and she's like, "Dog, you, you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> they get money if they win or lose. I don't know yeah. why they're trying so hard to win because they can get, the, more get more money. But then if yeah. they get caught cheating, they're gonna lose more money. Yeah, <laughs> like way more than that they won for whatever. Yeah, so it's a it's a big old thing. How I'll, fun, I'll how, show you guys the clip. They have to get fined yeah. like so crazy if that's if they happen. If to it get, actually like, goes through, yeah. Because if it's happened is, before, then I feel like it's more likely for them to be like, all right. We gotta do you something think, about it. But the MLB commissions just. But like, then again, that one guy that's always on drugs, uh, and he gets a play every fuck, single dude. time. Really? You hate him so much. I fucking hate that shit, dude. Call him if out. What's get, his name? It's Bryce Harper, dude. I fucking hate that guy so much. Is he on steroids like all the time? He's gotten caught twice, I think, and he still fuck. gets to play in the fucking league. Which I think, if you get caught once, you should be banned for at least like five years, like right off that. Like, because you're, you're cheating, you're cheating. Because that's such yeah. an unfair yeah. advantage. Yeah, and then. Like, on top of that, it's the funniest thing, though, because he got trashed because he used to play for the Nationals. And it was like that was like what made the Nationals a big yeah. team. Mm-hmm. And then he was like sucking fuck. So they're like, fuck you, dude. Like, we're done with you. Get out of here. And he like was super bitter. He's like, oh, fucking Nationals are nothing without me. Like, cancel that team, whatever. Damn. So he's on the Phillies this year, right? Uh-huh. Guess who wins the World Series this year? The, the Nationals. The Nationals. Yeah. <laughs> it was the fucking like, yeah, best slap you. in the face ever, but dude. I just love it. Every time like anything gets brought up where you can talk about that guy, he's like, I hate this guy. I fucking hate him, dude. I hate anyone who does fucking steroids and get like... So what do you think about Barry Bonds' world record? That he used you to. Know, I don't know if he used to have it or he still does. Who? They, they took it away, I believe. Yeah. But, but was it, didn't it take a while for them to take it away? Yeah. And, you know, like, it, I don't think they should have taken away all of it. Like, I feel like he should keep some, but yeah. there was no proof of when he started, so I understand yeah. their decision. But, you know, what, what are you going to do? How mad would you be if just, like, someone you really like in baseball has a bunch of records and all that, and it comes out they're just taking steroids the whole That'd time? I'm pretty upset. So it's like, that's not even natural ability. Yeah, it's just fucking tomfoolery. I hate it garbage don't dude. cheat kids yeah it's fucking doesn't benefit anyone it's like apparently if you're already there you're good enough yeah you know like and guess what you can get better by just you know, <laughs> unless you the time got in. there by taking service yeah, in college course. in which case you're yeah. just an ass so it's yeah. like if you can't if you can't work hard and get the results that you're looking for like one it may not be for you and two yeah. maybe you need to try something else to get better because like there's always a way because i feel like okay if you didn't start with steroids and you made it without steroids apparently you have the ability to get better so yeah well i think we are uh, running just about up on the first half here okay so uh we're gonna go ahead and cut it cut the to, break go to break there right ryan cut press it. those that, press those okay, buttons ryan, ryan. press is that, those is buttons. that right with you ryan cut it is, is that, go oh, for it uh, Hi, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to Goofface on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube, and then also our music artists on Instagram and Spotify, and of course the lovely Jelly Ellis on Instagram and Twitter as well, because she could always use a few commissions here and there, because we're broke bastards that can't help her. Uh, but yeah, you know, is that is that enough, guys? That's enough. Playing four games right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. Well, well, look at him right now. I need my concentration. So let's you know? see. Look at it. Talking to my girlfriend. Girlfriend. Yeah, I'm playing Hamtaro. Hamtaro. RuneScape. RuneScape. And always Call of Duty. And Call of Duty. Yeah, dude. I'm full efficiency right now. You can't bother me. He's a maximum gamer. 
I can smell Nick's fart from here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Nick had to go in the background. Oh, fucking I tried, damn it, Nick. I tried really hard. You Does it smell you, like the sandwich? Well, you came over here too fast. That's what it is. When you fart, you got oh, yeah, to linger wind. there. Because it's still yeah, like yeah. trying to get out of your yeah. pants. Yeah, and yeah. your pants are pretty like. They're pretty tight. They're pretty there. So All the cotton's absorbing it. Ah, fart fuck. cotton. All right. So we're back. Is it affecting the aroma of your beer? No. Okay. It's not making it taste different? No. Okay. That's what matters. So I showed them the clip of the Astros. Yeah, and, and it's, totally we agree. agree. Yeah, it's pretty, it looks pretty it's, obvious. It's so really the obvious. goof paste judgment is the yeah. Astros cheated. So if, so if they get fined, it's because of us. Yeah, we did yep. it. We did that. Yes. Our expert research and... Uh, Travis, you better throw away all those Astro players you got in your cards. Yeah. yeah. Old Justin Verlander. Married to Kate Upton, thinks he's some big who's that? dog. Who's that? Who's that? Can we do something real quick? I know who that yeah. is. Can we show off your socks? Because I like them. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. My little fucking hot dog dancing boys. With Are banana shoes on. Are they in frame? I think they should be in the mid shot. Up, up. In the mid shot. Mid shot? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, no. It's whatever. You're fine. It's out of frame now. It's fine. Ryan, am I, am I out of focus? Yeah. Uh, that was good. Oh, shit. Right. Ryan, Ryan, how are we? How are we? Are we good? Good. good. Right, we're oh. looking good. All right. So, uh, I was going to say something. Something about ugly. What? <laughs> yeah. I get that reaction right, a lot. When Nick, I know exactly me. what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about oh, wait. ugly? Wait, wait, wait. Look at the pack- packaging for this. What is that? It's like liquid rubber. It's like so ugly. Silicon rubber. That looks like this packaging was made like 20 years ago. Why is it? It looks like this is sold in Rite Aid. So see, this this is like professional grade stuff. And you can tell because oh, the packaging included. is hideous. I don't know what that is. It looks like a shell. It looks bad. Anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Okay. Yeah. What were you going to bring up? Because you were like, anyways. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's well, usually I, my segue into something. Something, some, something about... Fighting something. games. Fighting games. Yeah. Something, something fighting games. I was like, games. what? Fighting games. Are you oh, talking right, about that yeah. fucking kid that was yelling on our TV earlier? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta no. say, I fucking hate that. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna say, Nick? <laughs> no, it's it's like uh you're you're talking about like dishonesty, like why would you cheat? No, oh, like, yeah. Why would you do that? There's there's a friend of mine who goes to like the arcade to play play games, right? Yeah. What year is this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just <laughs> Ryan, what the fuck are you doing? It looks like a gimbal. <laughs> it looks like a gimbal mount for a camera. I'm telling you, dude. Ryan gets to the second part of any podcast, yeah, and his like... fucking brain just tunes out, dude. That's right. When, like, I was helping him film, I when I was helping him film, I was doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to pick up a medicine ball with one hand for like an hour. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what were you say? friend arcade, they go to the arcade 1980s. And they talk, they talk to people, right? And then <laughs> friends of she... And they obviously don't take her seriously because, you know, guys in fighting games. Is that like, still a problem? Yeah, it is. Oh my it's a huge God. problem. Anyway, they're they're like, Oh, how do you how do you how do you play this character? Like some new guy came in and they're yeah. like, Oh, how do you play against this character? And then there was this guy who's been there for a while and he was just like bullshitting him like crazy. They're like, Oh, yeah. you gotta you gotta go low and you high attack or whatever and it was like <laughs> completely wrong. And my friend walks up, he's like, Dude, you're like lying to him. Like, why would you do that? Like you're actively making him play worse. So yeah, that's that's pretty bad when people do that. So where does the girl come into that? Because it's like, and then the guy yelled at him. The guy yelled at him. Was she was wait? Like, the guy was telling the girl how to play like shit. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. You said him. Like, you're like you're actively making him play like shit. So I was like, where does where did the girl come in? No, was, was he just telling her that on purpose? Yeah, he was telling that. To what her a fucking purpose. skunkhead! I know. That's what we think of. And they played, and, and she him. beat him. Oh, trash. It's poetic <laughs> justice right there. Is this at round ones? Round four. Where is I don't this? I have round one where, where she's at. Oh. She's in like Texas or something. Oh, okay. Do they have round ones there? I'm sure they do. It's okay. Texas. Texas. There's a dead mall in Texas. Texas. There's a round <laughs> yeah, one. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I actually didn't realize how big Texas is, but it's, it's pretty well, yeah, fucking it's huge. Massive, dude. A lot of space. Haven't you seen Red Dead? You know what's bigger than Texas? What? The pollution island in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That thing's fucking yeah. massive. <laughs> you know when we have rogue waves, it's from the trash. What? Uh, what? 
Exactly. What the fuck's a road wave? Rogue. Oh. With a G. What is that? Like giant random waves that happen out of nowhere in the ocean. It's really big. Wait, do they... <laughs> I missed oh, sorry. it. Sorry, <laughs> that just killed me. <laughs> <laughs> what did he? What happened? It was just my imagination. He was like, "Okay, so hear me. There's a there's a random wave out in the ocean. So I just picture flat ocean and then a wave goes in the middle. Of it, and then he's like, it's really big. And then all of a sudden, my imagination is like, <laughs> <laughs> it just grew in size instantly. Oh my god, dude! What yeah, does it do to ships? Well, sink. they're giant. They're like, no, that doesn't sink them. They're just like <laughs> think, think of like <laughs> it's not like a rip curl wave. It doesn't like go like this. Oh, okay. It's just like you think of how ocean water like is just still. It just uh, rises. Yeah, just but it's a really rise. large version of that. So it makes oh, you what fuck, the fuck? Dude. So it could be taller than the ship, but like a huge like commercial liner. Oh, That's damn. scary yeah. as fuck, dude. So imagine being in a tiny boat. So why, why does so trash a, do that? Is it a mini? No, I was kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Why would trash do that? Oh, so you were lying. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, I was totally on board with that one, bit. dude. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was like <laughs> right over my head. I think you got so busy figuring out or trying to, <laughs> trying to, imagine trying to think, a rogue yeah, trying to think what that is. So I think you're just like, huh? Okay. So I was like, well, fuck, dude, that's got to hit the surface at some point, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's your brain this time? The wave's going. It's got to hit land at some point, dude. Uh huh. It's a big wave. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what he's t- from what Ray was describing, <laughs> he said no, it's no, bigger okay. than commercial liners. So that fucking that thing yeah. is like humongous. But the, o- is but the ocean relaxes, so That's... it's not gonna be like that forever. But so you're saying the ocean's over here. It stubs its toe. It's got big yeah. wave, uh-huh. and then it listens to lo-fi, and it eventually yeah. calms uh-huh. back down. Yeah. Wow. Dude. Okay, so World when you guys figured out ways. tsunamis, right? Fuck that. No, no. no. Weren't you sad? <laughs> Or weren't you like kind of like, man, that's not what it is? Because you imagine it being like a million foot tall wave. Yeah. And then you realize it's not really that tall, but it's just a huge mass of water just flowing one yeah. direction. But it's not really a tall wave. It's still fucking just absolutely. Oh yeah, it's terrifying. scary. But I'm taller than a house. But you no, know, usually they're like kind of shorter. Initially, it could be. Yeah. Like at like yeah. when it hits land, it could. Be. But by the time it gets to the shore, oh. maybe it's like as tall as our garage. Yeah, it's just a matter of. But like, it's just a. It's just water. But just imagine <laughs> really the whole, coming. just imagine yeah. all oh, okay. the, like, just a huge mass of water trying to go somewhere. Yeah. And it just pushes itself wherever it can. I'm yeah. imagining, like, pouring a cup of water out onto the, onto the counter. Like, it's not a lot of water, but I it's just like, mean, oh, my God, spread it's somewhere. everywhere. <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's but I remember when true. I would hear of tsunamis, I always imagined, like, thousand-foot waves. Yeah, me too. Cause what was that one movie where it was, like, was it 2012 or something I don't like that? Know, it was probably. like a fucking just huge ass. Like, see, that's what I imagine. Yeah, because yeah, like, yeah. yeah. if you think about it, if it's a wave like that, there's really no backing behind the wave. It's just tall, so yeah. it's not really that much. Yeah, it's just like I mean, essentially the they're the same thing because yeah. like a giant wave is probably the same amount of water yeah, as like true. a tsunami. So, but the way a tsunami rolls in, scary, dude. Oh my fucking! Because it's just like, doesn't it like just so back much. water out all the way? Yeah, yeah. like the movie tsunami like, i think it has even mcgregor there's a movie tsunami yeah it has even Shit. mcgregor in it he's uh-huh. like he's big boy you can watch the clip like the first part of it on youtube dude where the fucking like <laughs> where the tsunami hits have you watched it recently it's so fucking scary you dude. know what you know what i imagine what's that what? even mcgregor is obi-wan right yeah <laughs> i imagine him standing at the at the at the at the beach the water goes out and it comes back and he's like hello there <laughs> no he's like oh. some fucking suburban dad on vacation yeah in like a different country with his wife and kids and they're like in a pool and then it's just like tsunami <laughs> it's there and it's fucking oh shit. what if there's a tsunami in the endless pool an infinity pool <laughs> dude like fuck. It, it's fucking scary like wait tornadoes like fuck with me but tsunamis. Okay, fuck, Travis, dude, fuck I have that. a million dollar question, but for oh, you. so million dollars. Hold on, or this is groundbreaking time right now. Million yeah. dollars, but you have to sit in an infinity pool with like a the highest magnitude earthquake ever recorded, and there's no there's no saying if you'll fall out or not. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> like you have to? So, if, would you take the risk? Million dollars, or you might die. Yeah. You mean at the one on the top of the skyscraper? Yeah. Oh, okay. Would you take the risk? I mean, he was already on that an AX. Yeah, <laughs> he was I already know. there. I was yeah, already... not in a pool though. That's true. I was what if you just splash right out? Yeah, because what if the glass breaks and the yeah. fucking pool oh, starts fuck. coming out? If it's like the highest recorded earthquake. Oh fuck. Um. Okay, what country are we in? Uh, we're in. We're here in America. It's in L.A. Ooh, you don't know. Ooh. What's it's on, the it's on hundred what's, stories? What's the highest? What like nine, nine or ten? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty devastating. Oh fuck! Nine no. or ten is like it'll flatten nah. the city. I, I, nah. And you have to be hanging out on the glass, like resting your back. <laughs> that's where that's where you are when it's no. so saying a million dollars, but you're <laughs> probably you're gonna, gonna die. die. <laughs> but it's taking the risk because you could die, you could not. Who knows? What if it's a really I mean, supported structure? I'm going to be spending the million dollars fixing my house after that fucking earthquake anyway. <laughs> no, you live five hours away. Not on the fault line. <laughs> if it's a 10.0, fucking half the state's yeah. gone, yeah. dude. Nah, I can't. Nah, I'm not taking that one. Nah. What about you? Would you take it? No. Yeah, okay. Fuck that. No. I always, you know what I always imagine? And I'm always like, man, what if I'm on, like, on this giant freeway bridge and there's a giant earthquake right now? I know. Dude. I always get scared in traffic. If I'm in traffic on one of those freeway bridges, what was I that? get a little afraid. See, I always thought of either that or what would happen if I was at the top of a skyscraper when one of those happened. And one of those came <laughs> yeah, true. It, dude. it was very scary, dude. It was did you, very, very scary. Did you feel like the, the building like wobble? Oh, yeah, dude. Like the whole fucking thing was like that. What right? floor were you on? Top floor. I was on the. I think it was like 36 story was the highest one. Yeah, we were in like the like the penthouse area and there was like an outdoor bit. And we were sitting out there and we were watching the PUBG tournament. I was playing in it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the fucking like whole like building was like yayo. And we're just like, what the fuck's happening? And like we were looking around and I was like, I think it was an earthquake happening. Because up there you can't yeah. you don't feel the shake. You just feel the sway. Yeah, because the, the building is designed to like wiggle. Yeah. yeah, and then the scary part was you didn't know when it stopped because the building kept going. So I was like, is it still fucking going? Because I think things are going to start collapsing if this is the case. <laughs> God. And then yeah. you didn't know if it was still shaking or not. Yeah, it was a big deal. I just remember when that earthquake hit, I was in my car waiting for work, and I thought some kid was like banging on my car or something. <laughs> and then it started bouncing. I was like, is there kids like jumping on my trunk? <laughs> And then I noticed the other cars are bouncing around. I'm like, oh, there's an earthquake. This was pretty long. What was that huge one that like collapsed bridges like way like before we were born, but like when our parents were like, oh, like 30 ish. Hmm. That was a while back. It was like Oakland or Monterey. My parents were 30. I was still alive. I mean, I was alive. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Okay, when my dad was thirty, I was not alive. <laughs> you, you, you and my parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. I'm gonna look that up real fast. It when, was like a was giant. Nor- I think it started in NorCal, and it like it was in the '80s, maybe. It like collapsed a shit ton of bridges. Yeah, and stuff. I was watching. I was watching something, and that came up. Yeah, because I don't know what era that was. On though. one of our like road trips up, I remember my dad. We passed under a bridge, and he was like, "Oh, you know this one collapsed, right?" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> hey, but it's new now. 1989. Yeah, eighty nine. Right. What is it called? The San North- Francisco earthquake. The Northridge. Oh, San Francisco. The San Francisco earthquake of nineteen eighty nine. What was the magnitude? Also called Loma Prieta earthquake. Major earthquake that struck the San Francisco Bay Area on October seventeenth, nineteen eighty nine. I don't think he's gonna stop. He caused seventy. 70- okay. No, it caused sixty three deaths um, and an estimated six billion dollars in property damage. How fucking big was it? That's all I want to know. Yeah, I know. That's what she said. Oh, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, this is a safe yeah, for kids yo. podcast. Now we're not going to get monetized. Because apparently we can't be monetized for anything on YouTube anymore. Nope. There's only a 6.9. That's Man. pretty big. Nice. <laughs> That's the one to hit LA, right? Yeah, no, it wasn't that big. There's no way it's that big. The one in LA was like a 7.1. No way. Well, it was. It didn't hit LA. It was like somewhere else. Yeah, but what was it when it hit LA though? Because it's probably degraded by then. I don't think that it works like that. <laughs> no, it does. Well, because you think where the fault line, or where the I think they only the, measure okay, at the fault it. line. It was a seven point one. Yeah. No way, yeah. man. Those bridges suck. Then. <laughs> well, it was nineteen eighty nine, dude. That fucking. But a lot of our bridges are older than that now. It was huge. Like, 
you could there's footage of <laughs> the bridges suck like the, fuck? the dodgers game yeah with the earthquake happened and also the padres game in san diego of the earthquake happening and it was still fucking rocking it down the there. one the one that happened yeah recently yeah on the, oh. on the 5th of july like the that was padres the 7th game. yeah it was 7.1 wow, it was crazy. fucking huge because it it, <laughs> it happened i was in like, my car so i guess i didn't feel it it happened like out much. in the desert right i don't know no, I think it happened on uh northeast of Ridgecrest, California. Yeah, oh, yeah, in the Mojave Desert. Yeah, you're right. It like split imagine, a freeway. Imagine, imagine being right next to that. I probably feel like crazy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, Nick, the pressure, like the shakes, not as bad the further you go because there's that pressure point where the fracture oh, yeah, yeah, is, yeah. and it gets but less and less. So I ours isn't that. I didn't know that they. I mean, I didn't. I don't think they measure it as it goes out. I think they only measure it at the center. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, they they the epicenter, the, like the area of, of like how far it gets, but also the epicenter. Yeah. But anyways, thanks for joining us on the Great California Shakeout. Yeah, please. We're out of time. Let's please hope it uh, please happen join now. us in the Goof yeah. Paste first uh, premiere movie earthquake. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining us. <laughs> Have a great week, uh, and uh, we'll we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.